Hi there guys, welcome to the channel Take and Make, I'm glad you're here. In this episode I'm going to restore a very interesting item, this horseshoe. I'm gonna try something new, fighting the rust on this horseshoe. Instead of electrolysis, I wanna try this evaporust. I bought a whole jar of it, whole gallon. And we're gonna soak it in evaporust for a few hours, maybe leave it overnight and let's see what's left of this horseshoe. already so we're gonna let it soak and we'll check on it in a few hours see how it's doing scrub it a little bit with wire brush and maybe leave it overnight I don't know we'll see stay tuned fellas okay guys so it's been three hours since it's sitting in evaporust and let's take a look We can see some changes to it, but that rust still isn't loose. I'm going to leave it in this bath overnight, maybe even more, we'll see. It's been 12 hours since, let's take a look. solution definitely got darker and we can see that some sludge already forming on the bottom but it isn't quite done yet well not in a rush I'm gonna put it back and wait another few hours maybe another good few hours another 12 hours we'll see Okay guys, so it's been around 18-19 hours since I put it in evaporust. I'm gonna put it to this container with warm water. That's crazy. That's at least like one eighth of an inch of rust. That's why it's taking so long. Alright, so we got rid of some layer of the rust, but there's still a lot left. At least we can see bare metal in some spots. So back to evaporust it goes. Alright gents, so I ended up leaving it for another night. And total amount of hours is 66 hours guys. That's plenty. That's a lot. And let's take a look wash it again and find out if it cleaned those deep spots probably not so as you see it's almost gone but still where those holes are for the nails it's blocked with rust I'm not gonna put it in a vapor rust Instead we're gonna try to clean 
the leftover with uh, electrolysis. See how that does. This little tiny hammer is also one of my restorations, so if you guys haven't seen it yet, I'm gonna leave you a link in the description as well as this uh, card gonna pop up on a screen right now, so go ahead and check it out. That's already way better, but still there is some rust remains in that groove. I think I'm gonna put it back to evaporust for another 12 hours probably. This is by far the worst part I ever restored. It's not coming off easy as you can tell. Okay guys. So it's been quite a bit of time. I ended up leaving this horseshoe in Evaporast for more than three weeks. Let's take a look. A lot of Evaporast evaporated. <laughs> and it's darker than a Coca-Cola man. Let's take it out, clean it with wire brush and see what we got. This looks amazing to say the least. Wow, I really like the look of it. And this piece deserves to be on the wall. What I can tell about Evaporust, this is very good liquid for rust removing because even electrolysis wasn't doing much with this severe aged rust so I ended up having this horseshoe in an evaporust for nearly a month and it did just fine I am gonna let it dry and we are gonna try something nice to do to this horseshoe we are gonna try to put um, a brass coating on it I am gonna heat this thing up with my torch and scrub it with brass wire brush and it should give it a nice golden coat There you go guys, don't tell me it doesn't look cool. So it's quite possible to give it a coat of brass as you've seen and it's not that hard. You just need a torch and a brass wire brush, that's it. I'm probably gonna end up giving it a coat of acrylic or something and gonna frame it.
All right, guys, clear coat is nice and dry, and we're gonna mount this horseshoe on the wall. I think it's good enough. I want to add sticker to my channel. I think it's going to look great. What are you guys thinking? I think it looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, and uh, my horseshoe going to stand like this with horns or whatever up so it looks like a glass right or a cup and it's full it could be filled some people would put their horseshoes upside down like this hang it on the wall like that people say it's for bad luck because you're letting everything out so if you have a horseshoe in your house make sure it's hanging right it's supposed to be like that so the luck stays in a horseshoe if it makes sense to you so now I think we're ready to put everything together okay now we can seal our little box of luck Alright, it's been about half hour or so, it's all dry and ready. I like it very much and it's so symbolic that I have that sticker of my channel inside this beautiful horseshoe. I truly believe that this restoration will bring a lot of luck to my channel and to my subscribers too. <laughs> so do not hesitate guys and if you're not already please subscribe to my channel and I also want to thank to all of those who already subscribed we hit the mark of 5000 people which is pretty freaking good for my channel thank you guys a lot thanks for watching my videos for liking them and sharing them with your friends well I'm gonna wrap this video up by putting this on my bookshelf thanks again guys for watching and I will see you next one bye now